Over here in the, in the kitchen. See that? Okay. Just crack a cold one. Take a look at this, Margie. We're sampling beer, just not right now. They're doing it this weekend at Oktoberfest. Florian Couplet joins us now from the brewery. And how are you doing this morning? Excellent. Excellent. You're here from Urban Chestnut. I am. And you're here to tell us about an explosive weekend as far as beer drinking goes. And why should we start pounding these beers this weekend? <laughs> it's Oktoberfest weekend. Okay. Uh, the weather's looking great. We have great festivities planned. Lots of beer, lots of food. Uh, you can watch the Cardinals game if you're worried about that. Mm -hmm. so we've got big TV screens there. Lots of op options to bring your kids, mm -hmm. bring dogs. We have dog treats as well. So great, great weekend to, to come out and, and enjoy the Oktoberfest festivities. Now, now this beer is specifically from Urban Chestnut. And it's your brewing company, but this one it's Zwickel, Zwickel? Zwickel. It's actually, Zwickel. it's named after the sampling valve on a fermentation tank. Okay. So it means that it's very fresh, it's unpasteurized, it's mm -hmm. the way it would be if you were to drink it right out of the tank. How does this compare to maybe some of the other German beers you've had? Um, this is kind of like a Helles, okay. so a pale lager, very popular in Germany right now. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the main beer if you go smooth. to Bavaria. Very smooth, very easy to drink. Okay. Kind of medium bitterness, nice malty character. Um, overall, very, very easy drinking beer. And they come in a nice little uh, 16 ounce right there, it looks they like. Do. Now, let's talk about these pretzels a little bit. You said these are people and human pretzels, so I can eat this. You can definitely eat those, yes. Put that in a pocket for later. You there didn't you see go. that. But uh, how'd you guys come up with the pretzel idea for not only animals, but also humans? <laughs> well, well, pretzels are a big part of Oktoberfest. If you uh, have been to the one in Munich, they sell those large pretzels. We also have pretzels at our Oktoberfest, so that's kind of an integral part. Mm -hmm. Beer, pretzels, food, music, live music, uh, all kind of goes together well for people to celebrate. I assume that everyone knows where this is happening, but we don't all know where it's happening. Where's it going down? In the Grove okay. on Manchester, kind of close to King's Highway. So we're, we're very centrally located, easy to get to. We're actually going to close the, the street. There's going to be lots of space and uh, lots of uh, space to hang out, drink beer, party with your friends. What time? Starts at noon, tomorrow, Friday, and also on Saturday, all day long. Now, there's going to be one complaint that is a valid one that some fans might have. The Cardinals, there's a game going on in case you missed it. What are you guys going to provide for the fans if they want to go to Oktoberfest? We have some large screens set up so you can watch the game and still enjoy the festivities with your friends. So, it should be all good. I like it. Now, these mugs, how do we come up with this right That's here? kind of a... Right here. A uh, the logo. traditional... Uh, mug or liter stein that we have. You basically, again, mm -hmm. get the one liter stein and those are traditionally being used to serve beer at, at Oktoberfest in Munich. And the fedoras. And what about the these? Hats. I don't know. You those are... <laughs> Should I? We'll start traditions. We'll do it together. I'm not sure if we look better now or not. I think we might have taken a step <laughs> up, guys. What do you think? What do you think, Marjorie? You look ah, pretty good? Yeah, you look good. You look good. Uh, you know what looks yeah. good is this cold beer. I think we're going to have a toast real quick, my friend and I. Do that. Go ahead and send it back to you, Margie. Cheers. Ah, cheers. All right. Cheers to you.